Hi, I'm Grace and I live in Japan. And you know what I hate? The sun. Well, I don't hate the sun, I just hate getting sunburned. My dad's ginger, my mum's from Ireland, so I burn really, really easily. In winter and summer and spring and autumn, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna burn. In Japan, the summers are particularly hot, the UV is particularly bad, lots of people have their UV umbrellas, and I need to use sunscreen all the time. So I thought I would review the top five Japanese sunscreens. Yes, each of them is individually wrapped in plastic. It's dreadful, but I can't do anything about it. All of these are SPF 50 plus plus plus, and they are all gel types to make it easier. There's lots of different types in Japan. You can get airy, milky, watery essence, aerosols, roll-ons, all sorts, but gel is the most popular and the most commonly available. So let's give it a try. Let's start with a brand you might already know, Nivea. Nivea Sun Super Water Gel. Be very careful when you pick up things in Japan that say water on them, it does not necessarily mean waterproof. It's just watery formula. It has no particular smell and that's what it looks like. So I have sectioned my leg off and this is number one, so it is going in the number one space. Now I am reviewing five products, but number three is going to be my base, so there will be no product on number three. And on the other leg, the numbers go the other way around. For even sick. That is the Nivea Super Water Gel number one. And on the back, I'm writing the number, so I don't forget. Number one. Next, we have the Sun Cut UV Perfect Gel Super Waterproof. This one is waterproof, whereas the others I don't think are. They all look very similar. This is number two. This is the most expensive and the highest rated. This is the Anessa. It says, Ultimate Beauty Sunscreen, Outstanding UV Protection, Radiant Skin, Begins Today. This one just had a cardboard box and the man had to go and get it from the back. This one is the highest rated. So I'm going to write this as number four because number three is my sadly probably going to get a bit burnt midsection of my leg. So I don't forget. Oh, this one looks way more creamy than the others. It definitely applies a lot thicker. You can see it applying, whereas the others, they watered down really, really quickly were very see-through. Now my legs are not freshly shaven because I didn't want them to have any irritation when I was doing this experiment. Or number three, no sun cream. Don't try this at home. Don't burn your legs on on purpose. It's probably not going to be worth it. This has more of a sun creamy smell like a European formula, whereas the others haven't really smelt of anything. Number five, Skin Aqua Super Moisture UV Gel. for science. Again, this one's more creamy than the others. Despite being a gel, they don't actually all look like gels. This looks more like a traditional European style sun cream. You can see where you're applying it as well. Last thing, number six is Biore UV watery gel. So I'm imagining this is going to be more like the others in terms of consistency, that kind of jelly, watery, gross looking one. Focus. No smell kind of got a yellowy tinge but it is quite creamy milky. Last one. Again you can see where it's going. There is a little bit of a smell but barely anything. Now because I am so pale I would usually redo my sunscreen every couple of hours but for this experiment I will not be doing that. I will be putting my legs out in the sun for as long as I can, maybe an hour, maybe two, and seeing where we go from there. It's a very sunny day today, it is 29 degrees, it is hot, the UV is high. Let's see what we can do.
I have been outside for over an hour now. It's hot, 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 29 degrees. And the sun's a little bit more in and out now, but it was very much out for the first 45 minutes. I checked the UV index for today and it is a seven in Yokohama. And a seven is, you should burn in about 30 minutes. I say should burn, but skin as pale as mine is probably about 30 minutes. But I don't see any immediate burning on my legs. Let's have a look. None of the formulas feel sticky or uncomfortable on my legs at all. It doesn't really feel like there's anything there, which is really great. They still look pretty pale, but I do tend to find with sunburn. Sometimes it comes up the next day or later in the evening, so I'll be keeping an eye on my legs. I'm gonna see how much longer I can stay outside for. I would like to have stayed longer, but my hay fever is getting pretty bad and the sun is not out as much as it was. So I think an hour and 20 minutes is enough. And Maybe I'll have burnt, maybe I won't. We shall see. Okay, it is a few hours later and I want to come in with my review of the products. Okay, so as you can see, this is my leg. There's no obvious burning on it, but number three, where I didn't put any on, certainly feels hot and it feels uncomfortable to touch. So I know I've got some sun damage there. So I did notice that number six rubs off. So if I do that, here you have all the little particles that have come off on number six and it's not just the um, pen so if I rub number six you can see all these particles coming off over here on this leg exactly the same Biore UV so if I'm the beach and I'm covered in sand and I'm maybe brushing the sand off as I'm going through the day this is going to come off and that's not good let's check number five also coming off a bit on the legs and that is the skin aqua uv super moisture gel so not sure how much i can recommend this either let's try the other leg yep that is coming off number four let's try not really coming off nope nothing coming off there nothing on my hands can't feel anything coming off that is the Anessa. Now this was the highest ranked on Amazon. So that's really very good. Yeah, I'm rubbing quite hard, but nothing is coming off like the others. Barely anything. And that is the Anessa. Number three, of course, let's just rub for the sake. Nothing comes off. Number two, let's have a rub. That feels pretty good. Now I'm giving it a hard rub and there's nothing coming off there. That is the Sunkept UV Perfect Gel. Now that's really good because if you are swimming, you really don't want that to be coming off when it gets rubbed. And lastly, let's do a rub test on number one. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely coming off there as well. You can see a lot has come off, especially at the top there. That is the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel. And I don't think it's the different parts of my legs that are flaky because it is genuinely the formula that is piling up and like gathering the skin and it's just coming off. Am I feeling any sensitivity anywhere else? I can feel a little bit on number four over here. Do I feel it on this leg? Actually, yes, I do feel a little bit of sensitivity there. And number four is the Anessa, which is the really expensive one. So it's possible I've got a little bit of sun damage there, but also could just be a little bit of sensitivity, but I didn't notice any sensitivity when I was putting it on. So it's possible that this did not work as well as the others. I will keep an eye on my legs and how they develop in the next few hours. Cause sometimes the next day you wake up and you will have horrible sunburn. Now, if you have woken up with horrible sunburn or you felt your sun burning in Japan, please use this product. It is absolutely brilliant. It is Sunbears Alova. It's just pure aloe vera and it really, really helps with any of the stinging, any of the pain. So this one was the least flaky. It is also waterproof. And for the price, I think this is the best value. Obviously, sun creams are really hard to review. How did they feel on the skin? They all felt really nice, nothing sticky, didn't stick to my trousers at all when I put my trousers over them. Very good. Obviously, some of them were rubbing off on my skin, so I can't really recommend those ones. So if I didn't get any sunburn, that's fantastic. It means they've worked at least to some extent. So if you do buy one of these, 
you'll probably get something okay at least. They are all SPF 50 plus, so it should protect your skin. These are definitely not going to waste because it is so hot and sunny all summer long that I'm going to use every last drop of all of these. Even if I have to like layer them up on top of each other, they are gonna get used. Don't worry, there is no waste happening here. If you liked my review, leave a like and comment down below. What sun creams do you use? Do you have any of these in your own country? Subscribe if you want to. Bye.